Now on Coast TV News. We have another morning of fog across Del Marva, and we are looking at that fog the next couple of hours, but the sun finally reappears later today. And then moving into the weekend, turning blustery, and it looks like a quiet start to 2024. I'll have your forecast in detail coming up. Running road revamp. We update the progress on the big Del Dot project in Lewis, and one key roads in that area could open again. Riding into 2024, Dart announcing its schedule for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Delaware's dollars on the rise. The minimum wage increase set to go into effect January 1st. This is Coast TV News Today. Well, Bob mentioned it. It's a foggy start to this Friday. Here is what it looked like moments ago in Georgetown, US 113 Route 8. You can see very thick fog in the center part of Sussex County. Definitely. And let's move east now. Here's a look at Lewis. This is near the Wawa, just south of Five Points. I drove through that earlier. Honestly, doesn't look much better at this time. Just more cars on the road. More cars, less fog. All right, well, welcome to our 6 o'clock hour. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everybody. I'm Paige Marley. It is Friday. Happy Friday, December 29th, 2023. Yeah, it's a foggy Friday, yeah. but a Friday nonetheless. And you know how I feel about Fridays, Paige. It, yes, it's a Friday going into the holiday weekend. It, it is. So I think we're all in pretty good moods yeah, here. We are. Nothing to complain about. Let's bring in first alert meteorologist Bob Trahe because... Bob, the weather's not much to complain about either. No, and you know, we'll take a foggy Friday morning for sure because we know the weekend is just around the corner and so is the new year. So we're looking forward to that. But take it slow this morning as we just saw on numerous cameras. We've got the haze and the fog. The visibility varies at times. Now it looks like we've got some lower visibility along the coast where inland it's not as bad, but that could flip as well as the fog kind of has a mind of its own. So we'll be seeing the fog in the next three hours or so and that will continue. And you can see the satellite picture showing us the fog. Not a lot in the way of clouds above the fog. And we've got a cold front that's swinging through. And that will tend to scour the fog out as we go through the morning. Out the door looking at temperatures into the mid to upper 40s with a light breeze. But those breezes will pick up during the day. And we will get rid of that fog and actually see some sunshine as we go through the day. We haven't seen the sun in a while. Good to see. It highs into the mid 50s. But that's short lived because clouds moved in. And I think we will see some showers as we go into the evening. Evening, but I gave it the red light for the morning commute. Dense fog, limited visibility, burns off in a few hours. Much better improving conditions for the PM commute with the green light, dry, and milder conditions. All right, All right. thanks, Bob. We have an update on a story that we have been covering most of this year. It's the Five Points Project in the Lewis area. Well, Del Dot hopes that the winter weather cooperates to get the job done on time. Coast TV news reporter Charles Reiner shows us when cars will be seen on the new roadway. It is all gas, no brakes here at the Five Points construction site. Del Dot says this project is moving along on schedule and will hopefully have traffic from Beaver Dam Road and Plantation Road driving on it by the end of March. The tying in of Route 9 is expected to take a bit longer. That portion is expected to be done by Memorial Day. The agency says this project has been long overdue. We got a lot of community input in making this decision to install the roundabout here as, a, as an alternative. Uh, to the prior traffic uh, traffic configuration, which just was not working anymore. So we're really eager to see this completed and begin to be utilized and, and help to better manage the traffic flow uh, through this busy area. One important item of note is that the entrance to the Lowe's and Plantation Road is expected to close down for a bit in January as construction goes into the next phase, but there is a second entrance that has opened up recently. I'm Charles Reiner in Lewis. Coast TV News. Tiny homes back up for discussion in Lewis after the new year. The housing committee will meet to discuss small units like garage apartments. Also includes apartments over garages or in basements. Now this meeting is set for 4 p.m. on January 3rd. That will be in Lewis City Hall. Creative juices are flowing into the new year in Lewis. The Public Arts Committee is meeting January 2nd at 5.30 to discuss possible action on Paul Daniels pieces, the historic mural and the DeWitt sculpture. The committee also plans to look at its budget requests from the city in 2024. Today, final day of 
It's one of the nation's premier high school basketball events, yeah. slam dunk to the beach, and it takes place in Lewis. Such a fun event. On Thursday, four games were held at Cape Penlopen High School. Here's a look at some of those highlights and the results of Thursday's games. Christ the King High School gets the win over Friendship Tech Prep, and it was Bella Vista Prep over Blair Academy. Yeah, ESPN's 19th ranked team in the nation. Ball School, the, where they got a win over Phelps School, and then the final game of the night, Bishop McNamara, two point win over West Town. And today, the final day of the event, in the first game of the day, St. Raymond High School from New York will play Archbishop Carroll High School from Pennsylvania. And then Cardinal Ritter Prep from Missouri faces off against Paul VI High School from Virginia with ESPN's 19th ranked player Pat Gongba who committed to Duke. Friendship Tech from D.C. takes on Blair Academy from New Jersey. And in the final game, Bella Vista Prep from Arizona plays Westtown School from PA. As New Year's Eve approaches, Fenwick Island Police Department reminding you to stay safe during the holiday weekend and also to drive sober. So some of the recommendations they have include ride sharing and taxi services. Also, they do have a reminder that many restaurants in the town, they'll be open. So just look out for people walking on sidewalks and crossing streets. And the police department there is wishing everyone a happy holiday. And if you need to take public transit through the rest of the year, you'll definitely want to listen to this. New Year's Eve, DART will operate regular Sunday services statewide. New Year's Day, statewide, no fixed route DART services and paratransit. They will not operate. Delaware Emergency Management Agency says it is conducting a test to start the new year. There will be sirens with this test. It's scheduled for January 2nd at 10.45 a.m. This is to ensure that all the agency's safety measures are on point and up to date. The new year almost here, and so are raises for the first state's lowest wage workers. The Delaware Department of Labor is saying the state minimum wage will increase to $13.25 January 1st. This is an increase of $1.50 from the current minimum wage of $11.75. This increase does have some people divided. Small business owners are concerned, but employees, on the other hand, say it is necessary for people trying to make ends meet. Some people have to work two or three jobs, then they work 80 hours or more a week just to make ends meet. That's not right. And now in 2025, the minimum wage in Delaware set to jump to $15. That will be a $1.75 increase from 2024. And Delaware isn't the only state increasing minimum wage come next year. In Maryland, Governor Westmore signed a bill accelerating the minimum wage increase to $15. That takes effect January 1st. The last increase was $12.50 to $13.25 on January 1st. However, in Virginia, no increase in 2024. Minimum wage will stay at $12 an hour until January 2025. Okay, Paige, this brings us to our Coast TV poll. Mm -hmm. What do you think we're asking you about that $15 minimum wage? Well, let's take a look at some updated results. 50% of you think it's just too high. You don't think 15 is a good number. 34% of you also don't think it's a good number for different reasons. You think it should be higher than 15. 16% of you say it should vary by position. If you haven't voted yet, you still can. Head to coasttvnews.com or get on our mobile app. All right, as we move on, another state denying people the ability to vote for former President Trump. Maine's Democrat Secretary of State claims Donald Trump not qualified to be on that state's primary ballot, while other GOP can't, presidential candidate faces controversy. Yeah, former Governor Nikki Haley now under fire for not acknowledging slavery when answering what started the Civil War. NBC's Chris Palone shows us the new moves that could impact the Republican race. On the state's primary ballot based on the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, which prohibits those who engaged in insurrection from holding office. All of the evidence made clear that Mr. Trump was aware of the tinder laid by a multi-month effort to delegitimize a Democratic election. A Trump campaign spokesman said it will appeal the ruling. It comes a little more than two weeks before the first votes in the 2024 cycle are cast in Iowa. Republican former Governor Nikki Haley doing damage control after she failed to mention slavery as a cause of the Civil War at a New Hampshire town hall Wednesday. What do you want me to say about slavery? No, um, uh, you've answered my question. Thank you. Next question. Haley spent Thursday explaining what she meant. We know the Civil War was about slavery, but it was also more than that. It was about the freedoms of every individual. Haley's competitors pounce after the apparent gaffe. If someone asked me what the cause of the Civil War was, <laughs> it's easy. 
it's slavery. The minute that she faces any type of scrutiny, uh, she tends to cave. Even President Biden took a swing at Haley, writing on social media, it was about slavery. Chris Pallone, NBC News, Washington. And this in from overnight, California Secretary of State certified primary ballots where former President Trump remains. It is expected the U.S. Supreme Court will ultimately settle the issue of states arbitrarily kicking candidates off of ballots. And we are just getting started in this hour of Coast TV and News Today. Now coming up, deer hunting season in Maryland starting soon. we got some key dates from Eastern Shore counties. And now that the holiday is over, instead of throwing away your Christmas tree, you can recycle it. We're telling you what you need to know before you do that. Now here's something concerning. Bolt check for Boeing airlines, airplanes. We'll tell you why the company is urging airlines to inspect their planes. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. We were thinking about doing this garage to get the dust and everything off the floor. We decided to call a Pinnacle Concrete Coating. He gave us a color option. There must have been 12 or 14 different colors to choose from. Everything they said they were going to do, they did perfect. And they worked, man, I tell you what, those guys worked so doggone, they said they could do it eight hours, and they did it in eight hours. This is not a garage no more. It's a room for my vehicle. <laughs> That's what I love about it. Call up Pinnacle, and I guarantee you'll be happy. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, Coast TV, 93.5 The Beach, and 1025 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. Imagine a knife taking this much abuse and didn't need sharpening. Introducing the incredible NutriBlade knives, coated with granite stone nonstick and made of stainless steel. One of the hardest substances on earth. Now everyone can chop, slice, and dice just like a pro. Order right now to get this professional six piece set of NutriBlades for just $29.95. We'll even ship them to you free. Get your own NutriBlade knives, the last knives you'll ever buy. Six thirteen on this foggy Friday morning. Gutter helmet cam from the Ocean View VFW. Well, shows a limited visibility across the bay right now. Forty six in Ocean View, and we have the worst visibility right now. It looks like southeast Delaware down the coast into Ocean City. Maybe a little better inland, but this fog has a tendency to move around. So just prepare for lower visibility. Forties out the door, and we've got light winds right now. Aside from the fog, it's actually clear or mostly clear above the fog right now, and we have a cold front that will be sliding through and scouring this fog out. If you're along the Bethany Beach boardwalk today, it's going to be foggy early on and watch out. It might be a little slippery on the wood there for sure with the moisture early on, but then the sun comes out. We warm through the 40s into the 50s as we work our way through the morning. Well, happening now, DelDot is accepting applications for the Transportation Infrastructure Investment Fund. According to the agency, these grants help Support new and growing businesses in Delaware. Can be for construction costs and design and inspection services. Delat says so far it has awarded 27 grants, $46 million, and helped create more than 13,000 jobs. Application deadline is January 22nd. Well, this morning the investigation into a crash in Georgetown continues. This is where a truck appeared to have collided with a telephone pole earlier in the week. The Georgetown Fire Company posted these photos of the damage on Facebook. You can see the telephone pole there split and bent. First responders say this happened just after 8.30 p.m. Wednesday night on Sand Hill Road between Wilson Road and Huff Road. No word yet on the cause of the crash or any injuries. Today stands to be one of the busiest days at airports nationwide this season, but it's expected to get even busier over the weekend. TSA now expecting to screen more than 2.6 million people at airport security checkpoints across the country Friday. The FAA saying the actual busiest day 
That's going to be Saturday, with more than 48,000 flights expected. Boeing is urging airlines to inspect all 737 MAX airplanes for possible loose or missing parts. The FAA says that the move stems from incidents on two separate aircraft, one involving a missing nut, the other a loose nut. The 737 MAX was previously grounded for nearly two years after two fatal crashes that killed over 300 people. Weather-wise, we're seeing dense fog out there, not necessarily on the Gateway Subaru cam right now. Visibility looks good here, but just down the road, it could be lower. So that's the nature of the beast with the fog this morning. Take it slow. Otherwise, we'll see some sunshine today, but also some showers into this evening with a decent weekend on the way and wrapping up 2023 looking pretty good. I'll have the details after the break. Once upon a time in Rehoboth Beach was a lost little elf, his home far from reach. When all of a sudden he saw a twinkling sign, a magical winter village? Could it be mine? His eyes grew wide as he walked through the doors. The North Pole, you say? No, Shellville, of course. A magical maze was his first stop on the tour. Wasting no time at all, he set out to explore. With so much to discover and so much to do, he knew for a fact all his dreams would come true. After all the excitement, he needed a treat, a warm, tasty beverage to help move his feet. No longer did he feel so lost and alone, our brave little elf had found a new home. Your week with wheel. Everyone is invited. It's Sweethearts Week. It's Teachers Week. Teen Week. Margaritaville. Restock the margarita bar. <laughs> Friday at 7 on Coast TV. When we hear that sound, the competition is on. 12,400. Whoa, he's betting everything. This is nerve wracking. Do you have what it takes for Jeopardy? Friday at 7 30 on Coast TV. Welcome to new season with a deep cleaning by Stanley Steamer. Our certified technicians will renew your carpets, air ducts, upholstery, tile floors, and more, clearing away the dust and debris. We clean using powerful proprietary equipment and family safe cleaning solutions to leave your space looking and feeling fresh. Call or go online to schedule your professional cleaning with Stanley Steamer today. Approaching 6.18 a.m. on this Friday. Actually, we are at 6.18, and we're getting another live look at Ocean City. Bob looks a little clearer there, so we're all getting ready for New Year's Eve. Yes, yes and, that's and that's a good, a good sign, sign that that fog is lifting, at least in that camera shot, Matt. But in other places across Delmarva, we still have the fog. But the fog should be out of here in the next couple of hours, and we are looking ahead to New Year's Eve. It's coming up on Sunday evening, and it looks like the weather will cooperate as we go into your New Year's Eve. I think we're keeping it dry. It will be a little cool out there. It should be as we're segueing from December to January 40 at 8 p.m., and then as we ring in the New Year, 38 degrees with mostly clear skies. So drive responsibly, drink responsibly, make sure you have a designated driver. Here's our visibility right now. Still looking at some fog. Three miles in Ocean City, five in Salisbury. It looks like things are improving on the fog front. But that said, we still have a couple more hours of the fog and haze. So low beam headlights, take it slow out there. Temperatures in the 40s out the door. 41 in Seaford right now. Salisbury, 49. Bethany Beach, 46. As we have a westerly breeze, and other places are calm, so that is conducive for the fog, of course. But it should get out of here, I think, the next couple of hours as we do have a cold front that is sliding across Delmarva right now, and that will shift the winds and bring in slightly drier air. But we have another trough of low pressure back to our west. This is bringing some snow and rain across the Midwest, and that trough will swing through tonight, increasing our clouds and increasing rain chances as we go into the evening. So let's track it on Futurecast. Mid-morning, we break up the fog. We see some sunshine, upper 40s, lower 50s, getting close to noon. You see more sunshine as we go into the afternoon with middle 50s. But then the clouds start filling in again this evening, and we will see some showers spreading in 930 from Berlin to Bethany Beach. And some of those showers spread to the north as we go through the evening hours. So it will be a little shot of rain. 
And then we get rid of it very early Saturday morning and 7 a.m. It's chilly, blustery and cold in the 30s. And then by two o'clock tomorrow, we'll see the sunshine, but it'll be chilly. Upper 40s feeling colder with that wind. Could see another round of clouds as we go into Saturday night. Sunday morning is a frosty start, low 30s. And then by four o'clock on Sunday, it's chilly with highs only in the mid to upper 40s. As our winds are light for the rest of today, but then as we get into Saturday behind a stronger front, we're looking at gusty westerly winds winds 25 to close to 30 miles per hour. So it will be a blustery and chilly Saturday and still kind of breezy as we head into New Year's Eve day on your Sunday and colder as well. Paul Davis seven day forecast 55 today with the rain this evening and then it dries out this weekend 50 Saturday 49 on New Year's Eve and then maybe a shower chance on New Year's Day. Not a big deal 50 degrees, but it does turn colder after that into the 40s dry Tuesday and Wednesday, but then maybe a significant chance of rain by Thursday in a high of 47. All right, thanks, Bob. Well, now that the holidays are over, talking about the Christmas holiday, it might be time to take down that Christmas tree. There are more earth-friendly ways to get rid of your pine besides throwing it in the trash. According to farmers, the trees make for a great treat in digestive aid to farm animals. However, some trees could pose health risks. A lot of commercial trees will spray them with pesticides. Um, some even go as far as flame retardants and colorants. And you have no way of knowing which ones have been treated, which ones haven't. And a recommendation, if you donate your tree, just make sure it's clear of decorations before dropping it off. And of course, the holiday season is not over yet. We're preparing for New Year's, but a lot of us still have our Christmas decorations up as we should. And we love seeing how you decorated for the holidays. This Christmas tree right here looks just amazing. I love all of the fun colors. I'm a colored lights person, not a, <laughs> I'm not a white lights person. Tammy and John from Dover sent this to us, and they are wishing everyone a happy and healthy New Year. We are wishing the same to you. Thank you so much for sending us this photo. Yeah, Paige, I feel like I've gone through different phases in my life. Sometimes I'm white, sometimes I'm colored. Yeah. I'm colors now. So, Ooh, so we yeah. like this one. Yeah, we do like this tree, definitely. Hey, we'd like to see how you decorate your house for the holiday season. Take a look at your screen. Time running out. Send us your pictures and videos. Let us see some videos to coasttvnews.com slash holiday house. We'll be right back. Brought to you by North Bay Marina, where boaters have the most fun. This year, share all the love you have during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event going on now through January 2nd. With every Subaru purchased or leased, Subaru will donate $250 to one of these five charities and an additional $50 when you choose your hometown charity, plus $5 for every routine service performed. Make the most of the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event and start changing lives in your community together with Gateway Subaru. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. Plus, get free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. Call now. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. Coming up this week on the Delmarva Home Show. We've got a special episode for you. Maddie and I have toured so many beautiful, unique homes in 2023, and we thought what better way to end the year than recapping our favorites. We hope you'll join us and maybe see one of your favorite home tours on the big screen again too. Celebrate New Year's Eve with us. You can watch the Delmarva Home Show on Sundays at 11.30 a.m. on WBOC. Get live radar and severe weather alerts. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app. Brought to you by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. We're getting closer and closer to New Year's. The Maryland State Police, they want drivers to celebrate safe and smart. State Police has announced increased patrols throughout the state during the holiday weekend. Still, our Maryland State Police say they will focus on impaired, distractive, and aggressive driving while conducting saturation patrols on roads with high DUI incidents. Troopers from the Maryland State Police Berlin, Centerville, Easton, Princess Anne, and Salisbury Barracks 
Plan on being more visible along U.S. routes such as 50, 13, and 413. And the ball dropping twice this New Year's Eve in Berlin. A celebration planned for Main Street. There's going to be a laser show, music, cowbells, a lot of fun for kids from 5 to 6. They can all dance the night away before another laser show at 1115. The ball drops at 6 p.m. for kids or those who go to bed early, and it'll drop again at midnight. Well, perhaps not as fun in Berlin. Town is due for some water meter replacement after the New Year. According to the town, smart water meters may help identify leaks early. They help improve the water supply, and they also help save water, money, and prevent damage. The water meter replacement set to begin January 2nd. Grab your orange vests or whatever you wear when you go hunting. I wouldn't know, but you do if you're hunting on Dalmarva. The Maryland Department of Natural Resources announced that firearm deer hunting season opens in just a few days. This is specifically for Region B. This includes Wicomico and Worcester counties. The seasons open January 5th and the 6th throughout that region, and then January 7th on private and designated public lands in select counties. That also includes Wicomico and Worcester counties. Well, first alert meteorologist Bob Try he joins us again. 50 is the number for this yeah. Friday, Bob. Yeah, yeah double, double nickels abound. abound for today. 55. We're looking at nice conditions as we go into the afternoon, guys. It's that fog this morning we have to be careful of. Use those low beam headlights, but they uh, the fog will burn off here in the next couple of hours. Our highs today, you can see 55, a popular number, pretty much all across Delaware. We're hoping it's a little cooler for you at 53, 55 in Seaford and Laurel, 53 in Cambridge, East and 53 Vienna and other cities, 55 and 55 everywhere. Salisbury, Ocean City, Chincoteague, and back through Pocomoke City. A little cooler in Crisfield. We're looking at uh, temperatures that will be cooling down into the weekend, blustery conditions, and a quiet start to 2024. Your forecast details coming up. Yeah, we just have days left in 2023, heading to 2024. An anticipation building for people across Delmarva as they prepare for New Year's Eve. And promise of a fresh start next year. Yeah, hopefully a fresh start for yeah. you all. Coast TV's Mallory Metzner shows us now some of the many celebrations you can attend. The countdown to 2024 is on and vibrant celebrations are planned all along the coast to usher in the new year. Some of the coolest things to do will take you into the icy ocean for various causes. The Overfalls Foundation isn't dropping the ball on its celebration in Lewis. In fact, an anchor will drop from the top of the light ship's mast. The festivities begin Sunday at 1130 p.m. Dewey Beach is toasting the new year at midnight with a ball drop on New Orleans Street and Route 1. The fun starts at 11.30 p.m. New Year's Eve. Ocean City is shining bright into the new year with two fireworks displays planned when the clock strikes midnight. The big display will take place downtown on the beach near Dorchester Street. A smaller display can be viewed at Northside Park. The town says bus service is free on New Year's Eve. The ball is dropping twice this New Year's in Berlin. A celebration is planned on Main Street. There's a laser show, music, and cowbells for the kids' fun from 5 to 6 p.m. Dance the night away before another laser show at 11.15 p.m. The ball drops at 6 p.m. during the kids' event and again at midnight. If you're staying in for New Year's Eve, don't forget to tune into Coast TV for Sunday Night Football. It's the Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings. Coverage starts at 7 p.m. If you want to get outside New Year's Day, set out on a hike. Maryland State Parks have ranger-led and self-guided trails. You can also explore Delaware State Parks through guided and self-guided first day hikes. Jump in the cold ocean city waters for a cause. Atlantic General Hospital's 30th annual penguin swim is set for the morning of January 1st on the beach at the Princess Royale Oceanfront Hotel. You can also splash into the new year at the 19th annual Fenwick Freeze at 10.30 a.m. or just buy a shirt to show your support for the Fenwick Island Beach Patrol. In Dewey Beach, dunk into the ocean at 11.30 a.m. The 11th annual event raises money for the Dewey Business Partnership. Organizers say costumes are encouraged. Work up a sweat by running through downtown Bethany Beach before plunging into the icy ocean there. The Quiet Resorts Charitable Foundation is hosting the Hair of the Dog 5K Run and One Mile Walk, as well as the Leo Brady Ocean Plunge. Organizers say they're giving money raised to service-focused students in four-year scholarships. The annual Ellendale New Year's Day Parade is scheduled to start at noon. The town says participants for the parade will be lining up in Ingram Village. The parade will go down North Old Street to Main Street where it will turn and head to the fire department. It's also the last weekend for Shellville and Winter Fest of Lights. Both events are open through New Year's Eve. Tuesday.
spend the night. Trap in, baby. With family. I'm not in favor of lying. Lying is what parents need to do sometimes to build trust. Last season's number one new comedy is back. Oh, I'm already regretting this. Feel free to dive in anytime. <laughs> The water's weird. Then John Cryer returns. You're early in television's most anticipated new comedy. Do you think less of me because I was married to him for 17 years? Yes. Night Court and Extended Family, Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your work day. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. Over 100 boys and girls basketball teams. Five days of the best high school basketball talent in the country. And you can watch it all this week on the Delmarva Sports Network. From the first tip of the day to the wrap-up show each night, DSN will bring you all the action. The 41st Annual Governor's Challenge, exclusively on DSN. Presented by OC Floor and Home Gallery and Piedmont Airlines. Download the DSN app to see the action from every court. Local teams, big dreams. <laughs> Glassman, what are you doing? I decided I wanted to be Santa Glass this year. You can't do the voice. Stop it. <laughs> Come on. Well, at least can we give away all the cool stuff? It slays the holidays, and this year we're giving a prize a day for the entire month of December. That includes concert tickets, autographed guitars, drum heads, and more. From these artists and more. Slays the Holidays is brought to you by Wilkins Wildlights. More details at 935thebeach.com. This is Coast TV News Today. Foggy start to this Friday morning. We're going to check out the an updated scene in Millsboro. Much better than it was about an hour ago. Much clearer. This is where Route 113 meets with John J. Williams Highway. And heading further south on 113, taking a look at Selbyville. A little foggier there. It hasn't gotten much better yet. Should get a little better as the sun comes up. This is 113 where it intersects with Route 54. And just, yeah, a lot more... Uh, Fog there. You gotta be careful if you're driving in that area. Yeah, eventually it will be burning off, yeah. but if you're heading out the road soon, just take that caution. It is December 29th, yes. 2023. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. Yeah, we're closing in on 6:33. I'm also tracking uh, the Maryland MDOT cameras, and yeah. right now Ocean City Route 9. That about the same, yeah. not much too fog there, but Salisbury in the heart of the town, mm -hmm. heart of the city there, there's still some fog to deal with. Yeah, definitely. So be careful wherever you're heading from today. That should burn off pretty soon, though. But we're going to bring in First Alert Meteorologist Bob Trahi to help you prepare for your commute and your day. Hey there, Bob. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so the bottom line is we basically have fog, varying uh, degrees of visibility across the area. Now, officially nine miles in Salisbury, but we just saw other parts of Salisbury where it's much lower. Three miles in Ocean City and then thinner up towards Georgia. Georgetown and Millsboro, but that said, still hazy and foggy the next couple of hours. And aside from the fog, we're looking at actually mostly clear skies above this fog deck. We have a cold front that is sliding through, so that will tend to scour the fog out as we go through the morning. Out the door, we'll leave extra time to get to your destination. Temperatures low to mid 40s and a light breeze right now. And we will actually see that fog burn off during the morning. We'll see some peaks of sun. Here's mid morning, upper 40s, Georgetown through Millsboro. And as we go into the afternoon, more in the way of sunshine with temperatures in the mid 50s, but that's short lived because we see clouds and even showers filling in as we go through the evening hours. Don't need the rain gear in today's checklist. Use the low beam headlights in the fog, slow down on the roads, and make sure you have your sunglasses. It will be out later today. All right, thanks, Bob. Speaking of driving, for those who drive regularly in Lewis, mm -hmm. West of Coastal Highway, well, you are well aware of that big roundabout project that is continuing. Yeah, definitely. If you're anything like me, it affects your commute every single day. Del Dot says the work is on schedule. That's some good news, but there's still a lot of work to be done until the rubber meets the pavement. Coast TV's Charles Reinert shows us now the changes and the next phase of construction will bring. Roads closed for now but not for much longer. The construction at Five Points is moving on schedule, according to DelDot. We're really eager to see this completed and begin to be utilized and, and help to better manage the traffic flow uh, through this busy area. Steve Hadstrom says he's looking forward to seeing the final product. And I'm a little concerned some people will not know exactly how to behave in a roundabout, but I think over time it will be a big improvement. 
The construction has caused road closures, detours, and repeated inconveniences all in an effort to get the job done. But DelDot says the project has been needed for a long time. We got a lot of community input in making this decision to install the roundabout here as a as an alternative uh, to the prior traffic uh, traffic configuration, which just was not working anymore. The next phase will block off the entrance to the Lowe's on Plantation Road, though a second entrance has already opened up. It's just the latest change of traffic patterns along our seemingly always under construction roads. It seems like you can only go a few blocks without running into, say, another flag man or a lot of uh, orange traffic cones. But the hope is what slows you down today makes getting around easier and safer tomorrow. Deldot is aiming to have traffic from Beaver Dam Road and Plantation Road on this new roundabout by this coming March. But they did say that tying in Route 9 is expected to take a little bit longer. That portion is expected to be complete by Memorial Day. I'm Charles Reinhardt in Lewis, Coast TV News. More road work projects to tell you about. There's some that are currently underway in Sussex County. Also some closures to look out for. According to Deldot, Central Avenue between Market and Front Streets in Laurel closed for that sinkhole repair. That's until January 5th. Meanwhile, Arrow Safety Road between Route 113 in South Bedford and Georgetown are seeing intermittent lane closures there until January 2nd. This is for Phase 1 of the Park Avenue relocation. Also, South Bedford Street between Zor Road and Park Avenue experiencing similar closures for road improvements. That is until New Year's Day. And as New Year's approaches, Fenwick Island Police Department reminding you to stay safe during the holiday weekend and please drive sober. The agency says ride sharing and taxi services always a great choice. Police are also reminding you that many restaurants in town, they'll be open, so just be cautious of the increase of pedestrians. And lastly, the police department just wants to wish you a happy holiday. All right, well, tiny homes are back up for discussion in Lewis after the new year. The housing committee will meet to discuss small units like garage apartments. Also included in this are apartments over garages, are apartments in basements. And this meeting is slated for 4 p.m. on January 3rd. That's in Lewis City Hall. Visitors at Title Health will be required to wear a mask again. The health care provider is saying this is a precautionary measure due to an increase in respiratory-related illnesses in that region. All hospital visitors in patient rooms are required to wear a mask. And visitors who go with patients to outpatient services at any Title Health location in Seaford and Salisbury may also be requested to wear a mask. Moving on, Maine's Democrat Secretary of State deciding to remove former President Donald Trump from the state's presidential primary ballot. She is saying Trump is ineligible due to his actions around January 6th. Maine becomes the second state to disqualify Trump from its 2024 primary ballot. They're basing this on fourth, 14th Amendment grounds. Trump's campaign is expected to file a legal objection in state court. Three, two, one. Engines full power and liftoff. And SpaceX was busy last night. Two launches within just mere hours of each other. The first launch was a secretive mission. It was dubbed USS F-52, consisted of a military space plane, AX-37B, which is expected to last a couple of years. The second launch, a bit more usual, we hear about it all the time, a Falcon 9 rocket launched 23 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. This was the 12th flight for the first stage booster supporting this mission. More to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, take a look at these monster waves. This was in California. We're telling you how those waves impacted that area. And we got more from the Governor's Challenge Day 3. We got the highlights to show you and also which Peninsula School teams came out on top. Stay with us on Coach TV News today. Enjoy 10 songs in a row. Brought to you by Pohanka Kia of Salisbury. Your wallet is always in danger. Criminals can hack your information without you even knowing. Introducing Slim Mint, an ultra-thin RFID blocking wallet that keeps your cards and cash protected. Slim Mint uses the latest RFID blocking technology to prevent thieves from stealing your info. It's ergonomically designed to optimize space and keep your belongings organized. With the auto-locking Slim Mint, your cards and money stay securely in place. It has a built 
built-in cash clip and a flexible outer band to fit your additional cards and cash. Call or click now and get Slim Mint for just $29.99. Order in the next five minutes and you'll get an instant $10 discount. So it's only $19.99. But wait, due to rising costs, this may be your last chance to get Slim Mint at this low price. There's a strict limit of three Slim Mint wallets while supplies last. Don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-613-4296. Call or visit SlimMintWallet.com. So call 1-800-613-4296 now. So, why do people open up differently here? You are too much, Tamron Hall. Reveal things they've never told before. Oh, Tamron. I don't think I've ever said this out loud. Do things they've never done before. Let me take these teeth out. <laughs> so keep your luck shining. Because it's how she makes you feel. Happiness, joy. It's how you make her feel. Hello, There's only one Tamron Hall. Friday at 3 on Coast TV. The Drew Crew is here. It's so exciting. Magic's going to happen. Yeah. We're all one big happy family. Friday at noon on Coast TV. 641 on this hazy, foggy Friday morning. Starting to see some daylight on our Boardwalk Plaza camp. Sun's up at 718, pretty late, but it's a little wet on the boardwalk. Visibility is good there, and this is good. The white is beginning to decrease on our visibility map. Still some fog around Ocean City and other parts of Del Marva, but I think we're improving as we go through the morning hours. And we're looking at temperatures out the door in the low to mid 40s. We've got a light breeze right now, and once again, we've got the fog and some haze around, but we've also got a cold front that swinging through and that will tend to scour out that fog and start to dry us out and we will see some sunshine with time. Here's your drive cast your morning commute. I gave it the red light. We've got the dense fog. Use the low beam headlights visibility less than a quarter mile. It will burn off in a couple of hours and then gave it the green light for the evening commute dry and mild at that time. I got some incredible video to show you here. Offshore storms shoved waves towards communities along the California coast Thursday bringing flooding and road closures. Massive waves, high tides, coastal flooding, common sight. You can just see that truck being washed away all along the California coastline. These were scenes. The National Weather Service warning of dangerous surf, life-threatening rip currents, coastal flooding. Despite those warnings, onlookers, as you might expect, they gathered to watch and also surfers took full advantage of those massive waves. We have a traffic alert for drivers now in Seaford, the police department there, saying that North Street between Liberty Street and Wolford Street will be closed beginning January 8th. The agency says a contractor for the city will be working on the storm water system. The road closures in place daily from 6.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. That's until January 12th. Good morning in a shore showcase matchup at the Governor's Challenge last night. Smyrna and Easton were looking to bounce back after single digit losses in the first round of the tournament. In this matchup, Smyrna's Maurice Kilgo put up 14 points for the Eagles and Obini Coleman dropped 17. For Easton, Ja'Kai Brooks scored 11 and Marshall Bailey led the Warriors with 17 points. In the end, Smyrna defeats Easton 54-49 to and improves to 4-2 on the season. Next up outside the tournament, Smyrna takes on Milford on January 4th. After the game, Obi Coleman discussed how the team bounced back after falling to Decatur in Game 1 of the showcase. A lot of the Maryland guys are you know, very competitive. Um, you know, it's very different from Delaware. You know, we got to stay in our P's and Q's and really focus on uh, just taking care of the ball and getting the job done. It's been up and down. Uh, we faced a tough Decatur team. You know, they have a lot of athletic guys. And then we came uh, second game. We played against a solid team which was very similar to us in size and skill set. And we took care, of, uh, took care of the game. And tune into the Delmarva Sports Network today for the Elite and Shore Showcase matchups live on the Delmarva Sports Network, along with the Skills and Slam Dunk competition at 8.30 p.m. Reporting from Salisbury, Maryland, I'm Michelle Roberts with the Delmarva Sports Network. Biggest sports story Thursday night, the Pop-Tarts Bowl what? in Orlando. It wasn't a game between North Carolina State and Kansas State, it was this. This mascot. Paige, look at that Pop-Tart. Oh, I'm looking because it's my first time seeing it. Matt would not let me look ahead to this story. <laughs> this morning, he was like, don't look at it. It's a surprise. And you knew I would like this. I love Pop-Tarts. He's look so cute. See, this is almost like Taylor Swift at a game, right? If, if this is there, I'm not looking at the game. I'm looking at this. Bob said the Pop-Tart's better than Taylor Swift. Oh, my. Now this, and I agree. Here's the closing scene here. This is after the game. He goes down the toaster. 
And then when he comes out, he's a cooked pop tart for the trophy. The players and the coaches actually, it, it was a edible pop tart. No way! It has a toaster. His little oh, yeah, there, there goes. His there he goes. Let's see if we let's see if we can hang on here. Well, he comes out the other side. Here it comes. Oh my gosh! Here it comes. He's an edible pop tart trophy. No way. There it is. This was so worth the wait. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, wait, it's kind of sad. He's like toasted now with no he, arms and legs. He's happy. I guess. Look. Oh, is he missing an eye? He. Uh, I think so. Anyway, that's one of the best mascots I've ever seen, Paige. This was worth the wait. Thank you, Matt. All right. Well, don't forget to tune in to Coach TV for Sunday Night Football. Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings. Coverage starts at 7 p.m. And then we will have your hyper local news broadcast after the game. We'll be right back. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High performance, energy efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation, where we bring the showroom to you. Take the DSN app with you wherever you go and never miss a game from your favorite local team. Whether you're on the road, stuck at the office, or out with friends and family, the DSN app notifies you when your team is on live so you can watch the game as it happens or watch videos on demand. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV, download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. Family. Friday at noon on Coast TV. Fill your week with wheel. It's Sweetheart's Week. It's Teacher's Week. Teen Week. Margaritaville. <laughs> Friday at 7 on Coast TV. WRDE weather brought to you by Window World of Delmarva. Simply the best for less. Beat the winter rush with new entry doors from Window World of Delmarva. Your choice. Get a premium Craftsman's entry door only $64.99 per month or get an entry door plus a two-panel standard size sliding patio door, only $106.82 per month. No matter the size of the project, you can trust Window World of Delmarva to get it done right. Call Window World of Delmarva for a free estimate. Remember, first to call, first to install. It is 647 on your Friday morning. We are going to take a live look now at Rehoboth Beach. That fog bob really hasn't let up too much, but don't be too worried, right? It will clear up in maybe a few hours. It will, it will clear up, and I can see the waves in the distance, Paige, so that's good. The visibility is certainly improving, but not perfect, as you said. And we're starting to see some daylight as well. The sun's up at 718. Make sure you scan the QR code right there. Get your phone in camera mode. Download the Coast TV weather app. Make sure you have it as we head into New Year's. Here's our visibility. Still a little limited along the beach right now. Ocean City, three miles in fog. Nine miles in Salisbury. You see the lack of white from Salisbury to Georgetown, but I still think we're looking at haze and some areas of fog. So take it slow the next couple of hours for limited visibility. Our five day temperature trend looking good as we wrap up the year. 55 today, average high is 47, and then it starts to cool down. Saturday, blustery and cooler, a high around 50. And then on Sunday, New Year's Eve, 49, and looking good for you revelers. And on into Sunday evening, looking at mostly clear skies, temperatures in the 30s and 40s. So it'll be nice. New Year's Day, chilly 50 and then even colder on Tuesday 46 and it looks like the trend is colder the deeper we go into January temperatures out the door this morning into the middle 40s for the most part looks like Seaford you're a little colder at 41 Milton 44 and Selbyville at 46 right now and as far as the winds are coming in out of the west pretty light and they'll be picking up today as we've got a weak cold front swinging through so we've got the fog some high clouds and we also have a cold front that is moving on through not a lot of 
dry air behind us, but just dry enough to get the fog out of here. And we still have a spin across the Midwest, a trough of low pressure here, and we've got rain and snow. We're not going to see the snow, but some of this energy moves to the east as we go through today and tonight, giving us a chance of rain through this evening. But this morning, we burn off the fog and we finally see some sunshine after a few days of clouds, upper 40s this morning. By noon into the 50s, mid 50s for highs this afternoon with the sunshine, but the sun is short lived because the clouds increase this evening again and we'll see a system bring some showers in. So if you are headed out to dinner, maybe going to a movie, we will see some of that rain from about 630 till about, we'll say midnight across Del Marva and then it moves out of here and then we see blustery cold conditions Saturday morning. It will be a blustery Saturday afternoon highs in the 40s despite sunshine. A few more clouds tomorrow night, lower 30s Sunday morning and another chilly day leading up to the new year on Sunday with highs into the mid 40s as our winds turn northwest eventually kind of like today, but then they're stronger behind that system tonight and moving into Saturday, Saturday morning, gusty winds 20, 25 miles per hour, pretty gusty all day long and we'll continue those winds out of the west northwest as we go into your Sunday, keeping us blustery and cool. Here's your Paul Davis seven day forecast 55 today evening showers and then for the weekend 50 on Saturday by Sunday looking at 49. So New Year's Eve looking good. New Year's Day for the most part looking good too with a high of 50. Maybe a few stray showers colder and drier Tuesday and Wednesday. Then maybe a significant system on Thursday brings us rain. We'll watch that and a high of 47. All right, Bob, thank you so much. Fenwick Island planning ahead to Earth Day at its upcoming meeting in the new year. The Environmental Committee is set to discuss updates on topics, including offshore wind updates and a pollinator garden. This meeting is slated for January 10th at 9 a.m. Agricultural safety is set to be highlighted at Delaware Ag Week. It runs January 8th through the 11th, and the event is held at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. Improving road safety for farm equipment will be discussed. Attendees can also earn credits for pest management, nutrient management, and certified crop advising for both Delaware and Maryland. It's now 6.51. Time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day, brought to you by Maggie's Pet Boutique. And on your screen right now is a dog befitting of his name, Love Bug. What? Oh, that's Aww. what his name is. Also comes from the Brandywine Valley SPCA. We'd we'll love to go home with you, Paige. Okay. Love Bug is playful, gentle, very smart. Guaranteed to fill your home. Guaranteed. Aww. With love and laughter and joy. Now, with a name like that, can anyone resist? Bob, you're a dog guy. You might mm -hmm. want to take Love Bug home. Love Bug. Love Bug has more chance than it was our other cat, Kenji, that yeah. was in our last hour. Oh, we want to keep seeing more of your pets on Delmarva. But before we do that, hey, heads up for you guys. Adoption special at Brandywine right. Valley SPCA. All large adult dogs are sponsored through the end of the year. So you're kind of running out of time, yeah. but head over there soon. Uh, but yeah, keep sending us photos of your pets. We just love seeing them. Yeah, take a look at your screen. Here's the information where you can email us and then watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. Got to love, love bug. We are seeing daylight now on our Orsted camp, and the fog is lifting in West OC, and that will continue for the rest of Del Marva as well. We've got a blustery weekend on the way with drier conditions, and we start the new year pretty quiet. I'll have your 10 day forecast coming up after the break. Stay tuned. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care and women's health services to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. Draper Holdings, parent company of WBOC and Coach TV, has an opening for a human resource specialist. Provide HR support for approximately 150 employees in four locations. Candidates should have an associate's degree with a background in recruitment, employee relations, and payroll. ADP and SHRM certification and a bachelor's degree are a plus. Join Draper Holdings as our newest human resource specialist with full benefits. Go to DraperMediaJobs.com to learn more and apply. Draper Holdings is an equal opportunity employer. Get ready to soar with the Hawks. Delmarva Sports Network is your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. From the first whistle to the final buzzer, DSN will take you courtside. Experience the excitement of both the men's and women's teams with every dribble, steal, and three-pointer. To see the schedule or watch the games, go to delmarvasportsnetwork.com or download the DSN app. 
Join us all season long only on the Delmarva Sports Network, your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. Welcome to the ride home on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. First rule of the ride home, we definitely talk about the ride home. In fact, tell all your friends. Second rule of the ride home, we have fun. Top 10 Tuesday, Would You Rather Wednesday, and every day, you pick the songs on the high five. And the third rule of the ride home, we don't take ourselves too seriously. You've got enough to stress about. So let me handle the ride home weekdays from three to seven on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. Fill your week with wheel. Everyone is invited. It's Sweethearts Week. It's Teacher's Week. Teen Week. Margaritaville. Restock the margarita bar. <laughs> Friday at seven on Coast TV. When we hear that sound, the competition is on. 12,400. Whoa, he's betting everything. This is nerve wracking. Do you have what it takes for Jeopardy? Friday at 7.30 on Coast TV. It is 6.55. It's time now for some things you need to know before you go. Maine's top election official has decided to remove former President Donald Trump from the state's presidential primary election ballot. Maine's Democrat Secretary of State ruled Trump ineligible due to his actions around January 6. Trump's campaign is expected to file a legal objection in state court. On New Year's Eve, DART will operate regular Sunday services statewide in Delaware, but New Year's Day, there will be no fixed route. DART services and paratransit also will not operate. Delaware State minimum wage will increase to $13.25 January 1st. In Maryland, Governor Wes Moore signed a bill accelerating minimum wage increase to $15. That also takes effect January 1st. But in Virginia, there will be no increase in 2024. Well, in just a few days, the ball will drop and we will usher in 2024. It's going to really be here before we know it. Now, here's one that Bob might know about. New Yorkers have another day that they celebrate near the end of the year. It's called Good Riddance Day. I think I've heard of this slightly before. So to celebrate Good Riddance Day, crowds gather in Times Square to write down everything that went wrong in 2023. Yeah, it's a chance to bid a symbolic farewell to 2023's problems and pet peeves. This year, a magician let pieces of paper on fire. I bet New Yorkers are also saying good riddance to the tourists who filled up Times Square and caused all that traffic. Yeah, that's they'll probably be doing that soon. Bob, did they do that back in the day when you were there? They, they did, did, but they also spent money, too. Oh, well, there you, you know, go. That's you know, so the tourists spend money, but, you know, being a native New Yorker, I did not go to Times Square. Because you think about it, they put you in the pens. Oh, yeah. For, you know, you go in for about 12 hours, can't use a restroom, so Ew. use your imagination, yeah, so... Okay. That's gross. I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I just want to let you know that. But anyway, here's our day part forecast. Looking at temperatures in the 40s this morning. We have the areas of fog. We will see some of the sunshine as we go into the afternoon. Something we haven't seen in a while. Temperatures into the mid 50s. Your Paul Davis 10 day forecast. Some showers this evening, otherwise drying out for the weekend. 50 Saturday, 49 on Sunday for New Year's Eve. New Year's Day, a stray shower, 50 degrees. Then the trend is colder. Maybe a significant rain on Thursday. We'll be watching. All right, thanks so much, Bob. And thank you for joining us here on Coast TV News Today. And the Today Show coming up next at 7 a.m. We'll be back with Coast TV News midday at 11, so stick around. And for even more news and coverage you can count on, you can download our Coast TV News and Weather apps. Have a great Friday morning, everybody. What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable lithium-ion power plant. So fast and so convenient. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Look, you can inflate all four tires on a single charge. It has a built-in smart pressure digital sensor that gauges and automatically automatically stops when the set tire pressure is reached. Easily inflate pool toys, exercise balls, and more. Call or go online now and get the complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for the factory direct price of just $79.99. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free and we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. To order, call 1-800-771-0865. That's 1-800-771-0865 or go to getbullseyepro.com.
Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your workday. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, 